What's going on guys? My name is Justin. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do the 82 and 0 challenge, but every time I lose, I have to trade away a player. Now here we're going to here's what we're going to do. We're going to spin a wheel 6 different times to get 6 different players and hopefully the wheel blesses us with some good players to pick from. Um, if you like what you see this kind of content, definitely let me know down below. Hit the like button, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Here we go. Spin the wheel. All right, so we got to pick our team. Let's see if we can get a good spin right off the bat. Hopefully, we can start getting some key, key players throughout this whole thing to just carry us to 82 wins. You know, nothing, nothing hard. Just 82 wins. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We've got the Miami Heat. Well, this is the, that's an obvious one. I got to take Himothy. I got to take him. Himothy. Jimmy Butler. He is coming over to us. We are going on. Um, and we are going to take Jimmy as our uh, first pick in this 82-0 challenge. Second pick is going to be coming from... I'd love to get, like, a big dude. Are you kidding me? Uh-oh. Uh well, I guess the next best thing on that team would be either Bam or Hero. So I think, I think I'm going to go with Bam Adebayo. Uh, you know, maybe he's not going to be our starting center, but I think he'll be solid enough that we can use him in the end. So Bam... Welcome, welcome in. We're picking six, so you know you never know what you're gonna get. Hopefully, we just don't get Miami every time. So my, let's see, let's see number three pick here. Come on, wheel. Ooh, oh, wow, that's tough. Um, I'm gonna go with Bradley Beal on this one. Eesh, this uh, he could score for us. Let's let's hope that's what he's gonna do. All right, three more picks. I would like to get a superstar. I know I've gotten a couple stars, but I want a superstar. Come on, Wheel. Be nice to me. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Cade. Cade Cunningham. I think he's the best option here. I'm going to be honest here. I'm not uh, I'm not super comfortable here. Got a lot of, a lot of short dudes. Uh, I need some big guys. Let's hope that this spin brings in... A big guy. Uh oh. <laughs> Great team. If you would have been like the first spin, um, I think I would be dumb if I didn't take Steph, right? Like, it seems like a bad choice not to take Steph in this move. What do they got for? They don't even have anybody who, for big guys like Draymond. I don't want Draymond. I'm gonna take Steph Curry. I have to take Steph Curry. Uh oh. <laughs> Maybe Jimmy's gonna be playing some power forward for us. All right, let's see. Our last pick is coming from Dallas. It's kind of an obvious pick. Like, in all reality, I think we all know where I'm going with this. Luka Doncic, you're coming over to us uh, because we don't really have anything else. Um, we are gonna play as the Miami Heat as they were the first spin. Um, so we are gonna go with we're gonna go with the Miami Heat and hope that we can we can do well. 82 and 0. Here we go. All right, we're here with the Miami Heat. We've got our starting lineup. I changed it so that Eric Spolstra is only gonna do our six guys. Um, but here's the thing with the trades: the trades can be done with anybody, but I have to look at Trade Finder first before. I go and make a trade myself. Now, if I make a, make a trade myself, so say there's nothing for Trade Finder, then that's fine. I have to make sure the money matches, though. The, even out the salary. Um, otherwise, I can't accept it. Um, I have overriding rules because sometimes they won't accept it, whatever. But anybody that I trade, that's when I can start using them. Um, but as of right now, we have our six guys. So let's check out these guys. We got Curry starting at point. Uh, Bradley Beal at, power, at small forward, or sorry, at uh, shooting guard. And then we have Jimmy Butler, Timothy Butler at uh, small forward. I put Doncic at power forward. I figured he was going to be a better option than putting Jimmy there. And then we have Bam uh, being our big guy, our lone big guy in this video right now. And then Cunningham coming off the bench. Everybody's getting over 35 points a game, or minutes a game. So. We're gonna be we're gonna be tired, I think. Um, but we'll see how long it takes before we get a uh, loss. Hopefully, we don't get any. But we're gonna we're about to find out. So let's get into this. All right, let's sim to November thirteenth. We'll go till then. 
Hey, we like that. Good start, good start. Some wins. We love to see that. So we're going to go ahead and go another four weeks, see how this goes. Hopefully we can uh, continue winning. But uh, we're, we're, we're winning. Oh, dang it. Okay, well, just like that, we get our first loss to the Timberwolves by 10 whole points. I wasn't quick enough to stop it, but we luckily got two more wins. So here we go. We got to make our first trade. Um, honestly, I'm thinking we just go ahead and throw Clay, uh, Cade in there. He seems like the worst out of the bunch, and we're not here for the long haul. He's going to be a lot easier to trade than some of these guys up here. So we have to take one of these trades because we are getting offers. So I don't want to trade away two of the guys that I picked, um, but it would be nice to get back a big guy. See, the only hesitation I have with this trade is that it's two point guards we're getting back, so we're not getting any bigger. We're actually getting smaller because we're getting rid of Kevin Love. Um, there was a trade up ahead or a little bit farther that we'd get uh, Jordan Poole and Kevin Looney, um, which I feel like is a better option. Poole is getting 21 a game. He's probably starting, but like still. And then uh, Kevin Looney, or Kayvon Looney, Kevin Looney, is getting his rebounds, which is what we kind of need. So I think I'm going to go with this one. We're going to open it up a little bit. Maybe we'll be able to do a little better now that we're going to have a second big man out there. But uh, hopefully we can hold out and not get any more losses. All right, so our new rotation looks like this. Steph Curry, Bradley Beal, Jimmy Butler, Luka Doncic, and Adebayo. All still starting, all still getting around 40 minutes a game. Then we have Jordan Poole and Kevin Looney getting 24 a game uh, minutes-wise. And hopefully them being interjected are going to help us a lot in this uh, progress. So here we go. Let's go ahead and sim some more. We're going to go to December 18th. All right, all right, all right. Let's go to January 15th. We like it. Yes, we do. February 12th. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, and we got our second loss. Another 10-point game. How did uh, Ingram went off, CJ went off, Zion, and we just did not have anybody to really step up into it. Uh, so here we go, trade number two. And these trades have to be our original six. So Jordan Poole and Kevin Looney, you guys are safe. Um, I feel like our next best option would be Bradley Beal. Uh, I feel like we're gonna get trade offers for him versus like the other guys I don't know that we will. Uh, we got 16 from him, or for him, so let's see what we can find. Maybe we'll get a good one, but let's go find out. So Miami Heat fans, I'm sorry, but we have to trade Udonis Haslam for this one. We need a power forward. Like, our guys have been really working well as a group, uh, but we need somebody who can fill a role and Luca has been doing his best, but he's now going to be a better shooting guard uh, uh, slash uh, point guard. So we're going to see what we can get with Kristaps Porzingis and Anthony Gill coming over. Um, as for Anthony Gill, just because I trade for him doesn't mean he has to get minutes. Um, so we'll see what we can do here. So the lineup looks like this. We got Steph Curry, Luka Doncic, Butler, and then we got Porzingis. And uh, our big guy, Bam, uh, Jordan Poole, and Kev Kevon Looney. Um, again, we still have a lot of bench depth. Um, obviously, I can't use them, but we have them. Um, and they're good trade assets. Uh, so we're going to see we're gonna see what we get out of this crew. And hopefully we can get a little less than what we have uh, been getting for losses, which I know isn't much, but I'm still nervous. I don't want to lose anymore. Um, but let's go ahead and go to the February 12th. Oh, sugar honey iced tea. A nine point loss to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Oh man, to Cleveland? Like, come on, Cleveland Cavaliers? That's upsetting. All right, so trade finder, here we go. We've only got four left, so we're gonna go ahead and see what Bam can get us. Torn between Jared Allen and Chris LeVert for Bam Adebayo and Duncan Robinson, or for Anthony Simmons and Yusuf Nurkic and Victor Oladipo and Bam, I think I'm gonna go with 
the Jared Allen one because Jared Allen is having one heck of a year rebounds and points per game. So we're going to go with this trade. Hopefully Jared Allen can step right in and, and fill the hole that Bam is about to leave. Our new lineup for the third time is Steph Curry, Luka Doncic, Jimmy Butler, Ke uh, Christoph Porzingis, Jared Allen, uh, Jordan Poole, Kayvon Looney, and Chris LeVert. Again, Anthony Gill we don't really need. He's kind of just chilling down, down in... Uh, uh, down in the G League, and then we have our three guys left that we could potentially trade. Um, I don't know what order they would go. I'm gonna be honest; they're all they're all balling out this year. So hopefully we don't have to trade them anyways. Uh, so let's go figure out what the rest of this year looks like, and go to the let's go to the 16th, February 16th, and then we'll check our All Stars. Are you freaking kidding me? You've got you've got a, <laughs> a three-point loss, man. Jamal Murray balled out. Yusuf no, uh, yeah, Joker went crazy. Let's check our All Stars first, and then we'll make our trade. Dang it, that's so upsetting. I'm not gonna lie, that that frustrated me. Um, so we've got Luca, we got Steph, and Bam, Bam made it. Yay! Uh, we've got Jimmy Butler and Kristaps Porzingis. Oh my word, we have so many, and we still can't go undefeated. I've never, I've never once seen anybody doing this challenge that actually got an 82-0 challenge uh, or success. So I didn't expect it, but I was hoping we were gonna do better than this. Doncic is safe. Let's be real here. I know who I'm not trading is Doncic. So let's see, Jimmy, 20 and 8 versus Steph, 24 and 7. Let's see what we can get for Jimmy, I guess. I think this one's our best offer. Zach Levine and Patrick Williams versus Jimmy Butler and Victor Oladipo. I don't love it, but at least Levine will give us points. Pat Williams can do something off the bench, I'd hope. So we're gonna make this trade and see what we're what we look like in our roster. We got Steph, Doncic, Levine steps in for uh, Jimmy Butler. Then we got Porzingis, Allen, Poole, Kayvon Looney or Kevin Looney, Chris Lever, and Pat Williams. Um, I haven't been impressed with Kayvon or Kevin Looney, honestly, or really Jordan Poole. Neither of them have really done well for us off the bench, but. I, I'm gonna go with it. We're gonna run with it, and I'm gonna hope that we do not lose for a while. So let's go ahead and sim to March 12th. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, I guess it's time. We have to trade Steph. I love Steph, but he's gotta go. He's gotta go. This is literally our only offer: is Trey Young and Dejounte Murray for Steph Curry and Kayvon Looney. Uh, so it looks like that's the offer we're gonna take. We're getting a lot of offense back, so that's a good thing We'll see how it turns out We've got Luca playing point our last remaining starting six. We've got Dejounte Murray playing shooting guard Zach Levine Porzingis Allen Trey Young our sixth man of the year question mark. Hopefully Jordan Poole Chris LeVert and Pat Williams all coming off the bench um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say it, but I, I feel comfortable with this lineup. I do. I do. So let's go ahead, finish out the March 12th line, and hopefully we don't lose back-to-back -back Sixers games. We've got to trade Luka Doncic. We have to trade Luka freaking Doncic because we lost to the Atlanta Hawks without Trey or DeJounte. They have Steph Curry. That is it. And we have to trade Luka from that. There are no offers, so this is the one chance that I get to build a fairly good, hopefully respectable trade. Um, so we'll see you when I come up with it. So we come up with two offers. Okay, so I don't know if you guys are gonna see this as cheating, but we could get Jimmy Butler back and get DeMar DeRozan with him. Or we can get the gun-toting John Morant too soon. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and take this Jimmy Butler trade because um, we're getting a better secondary person 
than Jake Larbiria. I don't even know how to say his name. So even though Ja is probably the better option, I'm gonna take this one. The new look Miami Heat. Now that I've traded away my six, I can now trade anybody on this roster. Now, remember I do have Jimmy Butler back, so maybe I'll make it that I have to trade him again, but we'll see. We'll see what I come up with when I when I have to, if I have to trade anymore. Uh, the new look Heat, Trey Young, DeJounte Murray, Jimmy Butler, uh, Christoph Sprazingis, Jared Allen, DeMar DeRozan, and Zach Levine. Jordan Poole, um, and I tightened up, so Chris Lever and Pat Williams both lost the minutes that they had. Uh, hopefully having these guys play more of just them, it'll help us stay tight and maybe get a couple more wins. That's my hope. So here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, sim to uh, March 26th. Gross! The Memphis Grizzlies got a win out of that one. All right, so let's see. Let's see who we're going to trade. All right, so I'm already seeing some some things I like out of this potential package with Chris Lever and Patrick Williams. I know we got them, but if they're sitting on the bench, there's no point in keeping them. So let's see what we can get for these guys, and hopefully we can get something good. After looking through all the trades, I kind of decided this is our best option. John Collins is a solid big guy. Uh, Derek White can play some solid defense. so. We're going to go ahead and take this trade. Even though there was a Chris Middleton out there, there was the Clay Thompson out there. This is going to be the one we're going to do. We've got another new look here. Um, we've got Trey Young, DeJounte Murray, Jimmy Butler, Porzingis, Allen, uh, DeRozan, Zach Levine, Jordan Poole, John Collins, and Derek White both get minutes, but very little minutes. So uh, maybe, maybe opening out the 10 will help us. I don't think so, but we'll see. So, April 2nd, here we come. We're, we're falling apart. We are falling apart here. We lost big time to the Detroit Pistons without... <sighs> they have Kyle Lowry as their starting point guard, and we lost to them. That's so upsetting. All right, well, let's find out who we're going to trade. Alright, I think this is the trade we're going to do. It gives us better overalls. Um, we're going to take Paul George and uh, Bones Highland for DeMar DeRozan and Gabe Vincent. Um, Paul George is doing better than DeMar DeRozan points-wise, and that's basically the only reason why I'm taking him. So we're going to make this trade and go check out what our new roster looks like. So here's the new look. We got Trey Young, we got Paul George at shooting guard, Jimmy Butler, Porzingis, Allen, Levine, Murray, Pool. And then I tightened up again, we're only going 8 deep, but we still have John Collins, Derek White, and Bones Highland, who is on fire, so I should probably put him in there, but I'm not gonna. So, uh, let's see if we can get off of our cold streak here and get some wins off to April 2nd. Here we go. Let's close out this with a good one. Here we go, to April 9th, hopefully no trades have to be made. We won out, uh, but Joel Embiid gets the MVP. Uh, Jaden Ivey gets Rookie of the Year, James Wiseman, Sixth Man of the Year, Giannis gets the Depot, uh, Anthony Davis with Most Improved, Eric Spolstra, our guy, gets Coach of the Year. Um, let's see what we get here. We got Luca. Uh, no first team for us. We do have Jimmy Butler back with the Heat, got on the second team, and then we have Trey Young. On the third team, wow! I feel like we got shafted with a lot of these guys. Even the like six that I started with, still like none of them really got it. So defensively, we got Jimmy Butler makes the defensive first team, and Paul George makes defensive second team. So there we go. Um, we didn't really have any rookies, so it doesn't really matter there. So not 82 and 0, but 74 and 8. We broke the record. Um, and are now the best team ever in NBA history. Um, so that's pretty cool. Didn't start with our guy, or didn't end with the guys that we had to start, but I still think we might win a championship. Um, in the last 2K video, I said it was coming. I'm feeling good about these guys. Hopefully they don't let me down. Um, let's go ahead and sim the play in and get to who we're gonna get. Let's go Orlando. Let's get some wins here. So we get the New York Knicks. The Knicks are made up of Jalen Brunson, Emmanuel Quigley, 
RJ Barrett, Jay, uh, Julius Randle, and Mitchell Robinson, Josh Hart, Quentin Ryan, Sylvie Toppin, Derek Rose, you know, solid group, solid group, but it shouldn't be that hard. So we are gonna go ahead and sim cast this game. We took game one pretty easily, we like that. Game two with a nice blowout. Game three with an even nicer blowout. So here we go, moving on to the next round. Cleveland also swept. All right, let's see if we can get this next round against Cleveland. So we take game one. Remember, Cleveland was one of the, or was the second team to beat us, I believe. Like they were, they were one of the guys that ended our, or one of the teams that ended our streak. Though they beat us in the regular season, it looks like we're gonna take care of business pretty easily here. Doesn't hurt my feelings. I'll take, I'll take blowout wins, and yeah, I'll take wins no matter what all day. Here we go. Game four, we're up three to zero. Oh. They take game five, so maybe a gentleman sweep. We're gonna do it in Miami though. It's over. Miami moves on. We are in the conference finals. Miami versus Boston. All right, here we go. Simcast the conference finals. Can we go ahead and move on into the finals? For those who know, I am a Boston fan, so this hurts. But at the same time, I want a championship. That scared me for a second. Boston had the lead for most of the game, and we pulled it out in the end. Woo! A one-point game. How did that end? Porzingis made the jump shot to close out the game. Literally. Wow, that was tight. Okay. Well, we still took the win. That's all that matters, right? We, we got the win. Can we sweep the Boston Celtics in TD Garden? In TD Garden? Oh man, Miami just took care of business against the Celtics. I hate that I'm saying that, but like, it's true. We swept them. Let's see who Memphis has here. John ja Morant, Desmond Bain, Dylan Brooks, Jaron Jackson. It's the regular characters. Are we about to get our first NBA 2K23 NBA championship on this channel? I sure freaking hope so. Let's go, Simcast. Ooh, that was scary for a second. Memphis almost took it back. Next game, here we go. Ooh, Memphis took that one, tied up the series. Now we're going out to uh, out to Memphis, Tennessee. Here we go. You're telling me that this team against my Miami Heat team against freaking Memphis can't handle it? Come on, Miami. Too close for my liking. Woo! Uh, nail biter indeed. There, Kurt Helen. Uh, back to Miami in a uh, three-game series now because we're tied two to two. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. They squeaked by. This is unfortunate. Who? Jaron Jackson made it. Porzingis hit a three-point or missed a three-pointer and that was it. That stinks. Okay. Three to two. Come on, Miami. We gotta, we gotta win this one. I'm disappointed. Congratulations to the Memphis Grizzlies and John ja Morant for getting their championship. I just, I can't believe that my, 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 my Miami Heat did not beat the Grizzlies. I don't know about you guys, but I am shook. I think Miami should have won that one. That hurts so bad, but it is what it is. I hope you appreciated and liked this video. If you want to see more content like this, definitely hit the subscribe button down below because it helps me and it helps you see more of this and more of me because like who doesn't want to see me? But anyways, I hope you appreciated it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. Um, and with that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.